hi all it's your girl the sassy engineer if you are new here welcome and don't forget to click the subscribe button to join the community these are some common questions that you get asked at immigration or custom checks some people call it immigration some people call it passport control some people call it border control it's the same thing immigration customs they are there to check if you are eligible to enter their country these questions apply to immigration in whatever country that you are going to be it australia new zealand united states japan even nigeria the tip here is to keep your answers short and simple only provide details when you're asked don't get too excited or anxious and say more than you're asked it's not bad but you want to be careful so you don't say something that will implicate or complicate your situation and lastly don't be too tense they are all humans like you so relax and answer your question happily and cheerfully to the first question which you get asked and this one is a must may i see your passport what they want to see here is your travel identity document which is mostly passport so you respond by handing over your passport to them or you can say here it is or here it doesn't matter but they just want to see your passport i often just hand it over to them depending on how i feel or how long my flight was or if i'm just too tired to talk so i hand it over to them you may also be asked how long do you intend to stay here here means that country so how long do you intend to stay in new zealand how long are you planning to be in australia like i said keep it simple and short so you can say one week a month 10 days three months 25 days just keep it simple and short another question is what's the purpose of your visit really what they want to hear is why you travel to their country you could also hear it framed as what are you here for what brings you to new zealand what brings you to that country that you are in there are many reasons why people travel to another person's country it could be to study for vacation for tourism to join family to work or for business so remembering the tips that i gave you keep it simple and short your response can be like i'm here for a business conference i'm here for a business trip i'm here to study i'm here for my masters i'm here to visit my auntie i'm here to visit my i'm here to join my husband my spouse i'm here for a trip i'm here to see disney i'm going on a hiking trip so to answer this question you have to know your main reason in that country of course there are other side things that you may do for instance maybe you really came to see your auntie but in the process you're going to go sightseeing and then you may end up doing something else but your main reason is to see your auntie or you came for a conference but you also intend to go sightseeing you also intend to visit disney you also intend to go for a hike but your main reason is a conference so there are many reasons why you are traveling to that country so state your main reason except they ask you more details then you can give more details another question you get asked is are you traveling alone they want to know if you are a solo traveler or if you are traveling with someone else or traveling with a group now this is very simple and you don't have to panic or stutter around this if you're traveling alone you say that you're traveling alone so yes i'm traveling alone if you're not traveling alone then you tell them that you're not traveling alone but you also have to follow it up with a statement stating the relationship with the person or people that you are traveling with so note you have to state the relationship and not the name the response can go like this no i'm not i'm traveling with my husband i'm traveling with my wife i'm traveling with my friend i'm traveling with my auntie so you notice that you're stating the relationship and not just the name you can't say i'm traveling with peace i'm traveling with a meme i'm traveling with davido who is davido who is peace what's their relationship to you that's what they want to know if you're traveling with a group you can say i'm traveling with a nigerian group 
you gesture to the group and they may ask them to come forward for questioning and also this actually helps especially those cases where you have um, human trafficking so chances are you may actually be saved from the person trafficking you all right i hope you're enjoying this video so far take a moment to subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends done let's continue what do you do what they want to know here is what do you do for work how do you earn a living you will reply i'm a student i'm a chemical engineer i'm a fashion designer i'm an interior de decorator i'm a self-employed whatever be prepared because they often follow this up with a question asking about your company so the name of your company you could say nz bank deloitte balanjaga ysl wherever you work just state their name they may ask for more details just to understand your working conditions don't be afraid to tell them if you say you're not working they may ask you more questions so prepare for that do you have family here really what they want to know is if you have a relative in that country do you have family in new zealand do you have family in australia do you have family in usa that country that you are arriving at do you have family there if you don't have family you say no i don't have family or no if you do have family you have to tell them that you do have family and also state the relationship so you can say yes i have an uncle here yes i have a family here my uncle lives here my brother lives here my mom lives here my husband lives here my wife lives here they may follow this up with more questions they will most likely ask you more questions about this your relative they'll ask you for the name where they live where they work what they do for a living and if you will see them do not panic just answer the question honestly but remember to keep it simple and short and only provide details that you are asked where will you be staying this is another common question that you get asked at the immigration or border control and i know that it can ruffle some people's feathers because people are like oh my god i put this address when i apply for my visa now the address have changed some people can panic do not panic all they want to know is where are you going to be staying for the duration of your trip if you're on vacation if you are here to study where are you going to stay for the first few weeks they just need to have a contact address that they can reach you if anything happens so do not panic because you change your address in the process and for a student it doesn't mean that the address that you told them that you're going to be staying has to be the address you stay on the entirety of your study no you can actually change your accommodation during your study you can change it every other month if you want to but that's up to you that being said if you're staying in a hotel you could say i'm staying in insert the name of the hotel so for instance i'm staying in millennium hotel i'll be staying in the quadrant in auckland i'll be staying at the compton hotel in queenstown that's how you respond if you're staying with family and friends you also state that you'll be staying with your auntie they will most likely ask you for an address you just have to say i'm saying my auntie in auckland i'm saying my auntie in hamilton something like that depending on your visa they can ask you for booking confirmation if you are going to stay in a hotel or a b and b so you have that booking conf confirmation available in case they ask you have you been here before another common question if you have not been here before, you will simply say no i've not been here before or you just say no if you have been here before yes i've been here before the question can also be framed as is this your first time visiting the country if it is your first time you say yes it is or yes if it is not your first time you say no it's not my first time or simply no they may follow up with a question like when was the last time that you were here so just simply state the time 2019 2020 the year is fine or if it was two weeks ago just say two weeks ago a month ago and chances are they may follow up with another question asking for your reason for being in the country the last time so what did you do the last time you were here so you can say i was here on vacation i came for a conference i was here to visit family i was on a business trip so keep it short and simple only state if you are asked 
if you are not asked then you don't have to state one more question that you get asked is regarding your visa many countries these days are moving to or have moved to e-visa so it's not very common again to get asked for your visa once they scan your passport they can get your details but some countries still ask for your visa so even if you have an e-visa i'll suggest that you print out a copy of your e-visa those are the common questions that you get asked at border control passport control basically at customs for New Zealand, there's an extra security check, which is biosecurity. I have there's a video on my channel that talks about this and some of the questions that you will expect to be asked there. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share it on your timeline to your friends, your family, just about anyone you think that needs it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.